I am an implantologist at the Biodent Clinic. The surgery planned today is an open sinus lift installation of three implants with the simultaneous extraction of a tooth. The operation will be interesting, using two bone components, a sponge graft and core bone. Core bone will be used to fill the sinus cavity in combination with a sponge graft. A sponge graft will also be used for the extraction socket filling during immediate implantation. We can now look at this work as a 3D scan on the screen. In today's operation we plan to install three implants. Open sinus lifting in the area of tooth number 16 extraction of tooth number 14 and installation of DSI implants in areas number 15 and number 16. In this instance we have bone volume in the area of the 16th tooth Along the height of the ridge, we have only 4.21 millimeters. This is not enough for us to install the implant. Before the implant, we will put a bone graft in here. The bone graft will be a combination of DSI sponge graft and core bone. The implant I'm planning to install is here in the sinus area, 3.75 by 11.5 in the area of tooth number 15. I use the same dimensions of 3.75 by 11.5 allowed by the height and thickness of the ridge. It allows 3.75, these are the implants, the default diameter is 4. And in site number 14, the tooth that we will remove will be replaced with an implant 3.75 by 13. In this way. Done in this way, we would anticipate an operation time of an hour and a half for the three implants. OK, let's start. Removal should be atraumatic, not to disrupt the cortical plate. We reflect the flap and drill the lateral window to access the sinus. Detach and raise the membrane. Now it's time to prepare the place for implants.
We filled the cavity, initially with core bone, coral bone. Sponge graft is a collagen-based plug impregnated with synthetic bone material. We use it instead of a membrane. It's perfectly sculptable, cuts easily without crumbling, very user-friendly. placement of implants. We cover the implants with sponge graft to achieve a better volume of the new tissue. Installation of cover screws on two implants in the sinus. Placement of the healing abutment on the implant in place of tooth number 14. So the operation is over. It was a very successful operation and I am very pleased with the result. Tooth number 14 was extracted and the bone was planted it all went as planned. The three implants were integrated on the bone augmentation and everything went well. Thank you for your attention.